Okay, hello everybody, and welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. Where I'm once again looking at the microphone. That's better. Okay. Uh, I just went through the inventory, basically got everybody upgraded, except I just remembered just now that I didn't get Sarah a bow. Or a new, a new bow. And I also, if I want to take her out, I need to make her some armor, because the armor I had, I didn't like for her. Hmm, okay. And we'll toss that one. Okay. So let's hope that this works. And that I don't get too distracted trying to rearrange things on the computer. Yay! Okay, so we've got a little mark up here now. We will see how this goes. Oh, maybe I should have saved beforehand. Yeah, Barris! All you right. Sent for me, Inquisitor. Knight Templar Delrin Barris. We've gathered to review your military service to the Inquisition. You showed exceptional valor defending the people of Valkaline <laughs> yes, nod. and broke a siege of demons in Ansberg. You stood against an entire town that wanted to kill a mage for imagined demonic possession without raising a sword. He is an exemplary man. And thanks for your service and your help at Theron <laughs> yeah. I endorse your promotion to Knight Commander of the Templar Yes! Rock. Yes! Your worship. I, I am not worthy. You can grow into it. Mmm. Fully that one. Your service has restored more faith in the Templars than speeches ever could. I pray to Andraste to serve many years more. Indeed. Templars, will you take Sir Barris? <laughs> and I look like a weirdo. Just woke up out of bed. <laughs> They've already been following you, Barris. They will continue to do so. Yes! Did that one! Good! That was exactly what I wanted. I'm glad we were able to affect that. Oh man, that's gonna be cool. Like, I wonder if we'll get to do anything else with that at all. That'll be cool. Um, and now we shall sit again. We have a, we have, today is our uh, political day. We're gonna take our list of everyone. Yep, there's my pudgy belly. Awesome. Mayor Gregory Dedrick of Crestwood is present for betraying his own constituents. He confesses that, ten years ago, he flooded Old Crestwood to kill refugees and villagers touched by the blight. The mayor claims it was to spare the rest of Crestwood, but we only have his word. Well, what, would it, what else would it be? What he did can't be overlooked, no matter the motive. There's no cure for the blight! But I couldn't convince anyone to leave a sick child or husband behind. There's no way they could. So they... you herded the infected into one place and flooded old Crestwood. Were no innocents caught in the waters? Nearly everyone in the village had the blight. I swear it. Have mercy. I couldn't tell the survivors I'd drowned their own families to save them. I, I, I couldn't. I acquired the Ferelden throne. Oh, do I not get any of my, uh... Oh, look how intimidating I look. Mer. I don't get any cool options. Okay. Uh... Um... And maybe my influence isn't high enough or something. I feel like I had another option before. Hmm. Either... I don't want to kill him, right? He did what he thought was necessary to save the people who were left. Exile... I don't really see the point of... And being locked up forever... I don't know. I think I did the lock up last time. But he does, he owes the people, I'd, I don't know, man. 
What would Talon do? I don't think he'd want... I don't think he'd want to throw responsibility off on somebody else, and that's Ferelden. But... Like, the general Ferelden. But Exile also just kind of, like, throws the problem to the wind and is like, Oh, well... I think last time I locked him up. Mm. He can still live, but he needs to be punished. So I don't s exile. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I'll try it. I'll try it. You lied for ten years oh. about your crime, then fled after confessing your guilt. For avoiding justice, you are exiled from Ferelden. I doubt the crown will disagree. I knew your coming meant the end. One way or another. I mean, I don't know. Like, that just seems kind of... Blah. You know? I don't know. He's just, either way, he's gonna have to live with what he did. You know what I mean? I think Iron Bull and Sarah slightly disapprove, but I don't think Sarah's ever gonna like me, so not a whole lot I can do about that. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, where is it? Could I do? Oh no, I don't have a quarry. Looks like you need lots of quarries and elf roots and blood lotus. I don't have any quarries. I have enough logging stands for a couple of them. Those are ones we just kind of gather as we go, though. Okay. Wow. There's so many. Um. I'm gonna save. Nah, we'll be fine. Uh, as I jinx myself. <sighs> Let's try to go sell some things. I wonder, I, I don't think I've gotten, I don't really want to start crafting things until I get a good amount of tier 2 stuff. Like stuff and schematics, you know? I think there was an armor in here. Wow, okay. Oh wait, it's uh... Uh, I am a rogue. Level tw I am level 12. Um. Oh, okay. Alright, okay. I was like, wait, I don't... Blah, 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 blah. Alright, let's sell a couple of things. Or sell, sell a whole lot of things, I guess. Um. Sale. Yeah. That was like half. Jeez. Hope I didn't sell something I needed. Ha ha. Okay, I can take it now. And I'm just gonna go sell that. <laughs> I didn't. I, I think the reinforced scout armor looks pretty good on me. I, I have to. I have to double check. Uh, the reinforced scout armor. What? Oh, that's okay. That's the other one. This is okay. Uh, where's this? Yeah. Shit. Reinforced defender armor. For sure. It looks like I made that one. Maybe I don't know. We'll sell it. Okay. Inventory. Um. Uh, reinforced scout mail. Ooh. What? I mean, there's no actual. Uh, there's no difference. But I love that blue. I was actually thinking today. I was like, man. 
I should maybe put some blue in what he's wearing, like a dark blue. I don't like ah, that blue is like patterny. I don't know if I like it so much, but yeah, I like that blue. I do, I do. And then I could give oh I could give this one to Sarah I think. Reinforced scout coat. Yeah, she needed a. She needed an upgrade. Okay, let's check the tinting area really quick. Um, this is this is what I'm wearing. Right. Yes. Cloth tint, metal tint, leather. Whoa. Oh, I like that blue. It's neat. I think the gloves changed a little bit. Boop, boop. Or green. He could do green. Hmm. I don't know. I'm just feeling the blue. Oh, okay. Nice. The dark there. Green or the red or purple, freaking heck. Semi silk. Ooh. Nah, it's too blue. Where's the samite? Darkened samite. Okay. Matches his hood. But then that means I need to change. Uh, I wish there was a blue that, like, wasn't so. Like, I don't know. Like, that can't be so bright either, I think. I mean, ram leather's the darkest, I think, that I have at this point. The bear hide's brown. I did like that blue, though, actually. But then I would have to change the cloth on his shirt for sure. I don't really care about the metal. Samite, just a regular Samite. I need armor that makes him look buffer. Like just a little bit buffer. That's all. Ugh, pants. I don't like it. I need some- I need to go beat a dragon that has some really freaking rad... Um... I like- I like that for some reason. That has some really rad, uh... Scout armor. Sure. Sure, we're just gonna stand out. Just gonna stand out. Yep. Uh-huh. Yep. Alright. Cool, cool. Um, let's see. What is, what is with? Actually, let's, okay, let's just look. After I just, you know, made... Oh no, mine, the one that I have. Yeah, I've only got, what? Oh, um. Oh, God. Uh, let's see. Solus? I should probably make one for all of them. I think, I'm pretty sure this would be better than what Solus has got on right now. It, let's see. So it was like to one up to one twenty five, like one oh seven to one twenty five or something. I'm not picking up much of the uh, light armor. Yeah, it'd be it'd be way better. 
Enchanter coat. No, not for me. Good golly, I look retarded in that. Turn it off! Turn it off! Oh no, do I not have enough? Oh, that's a tier two. Oh, look at that. Well, I could only make one for... Well, okay, there we go. I can make another one. Tier one. Ring velvet. Lustrous cotton. Um, that's it. Ring velvet. Lustrous cotton. Yeah. Let's see if I even have enough to do this. 6% magic defense. Heal bonus. Re electrical resistance. Magic defense. Let's do heal bonus. Ten percent cold resistance, fire resistance, cold resistance. Let's do the cold resistance because we had a lot of that. And then do we? Yeah, we got a couple of these. Ability cost seven and a half percent. Heal twenty percent of damage. Oh, we have a couple of them um, of each. Yeah, uh, we got three of that one. Sure. Cool. Healing Freezing Enchanter Coat. You look amazing in those colors, let me tell you. Uh, or I, I could rename it. Nah. Nah, you're fine. Okay, let's, um, Vivian. Um, or Dorian. Of course, I could just make two and then bring out whoever I wished, and I'm not quite sure what their what their schematics are. Okay. Oh, I did advanced crafting. Yay! Uh, what's my damage on my bow like? Whipping. One o two. I do have a corrupting rune in there. 70 damage. Okay. Spike longbow. Whoa. Wow. Okay. I like the look of the hunting bow better, but. Tier 2. Wow. Tier 1, tier 2. Pyrophyte. Um, okay, so I have night. I have. I have nineteen of those, or what? Okay, yeah. Okay, so nineteen. Nineteen. Thirty-seven. Okay, so the thirty-seven. It is. And then armor penetration, nine percent stagger, nine percent stagger, nine percent attack, fifteen percent guard damage bonus. Ooh, ooh, Stormheart. I'm gonna do the guard damage bonus. Uh, do we have any tier two available? Doesn't look like it. Flanking bonus, critical damage bonus, critical chance, critical chance. Flanking damage bonus. Maybe we'll do critical damage. Sure. Sure. We'll keep it. Let's give it to myself. Oh, it's like, oh, oh wait, no, the, the damage is a lot better. I do, I could put a rune on it, I think. 
We'll go do that. Modify weapons. Rune. Another corrupting rune. Alright then. Yeah. Why not? I don't think I have a grip for the bow yet. Um, so... I could take... The, what did I... I had... I thought I had something on some of mine. I guess not. Uh, ooh. Oh, I like that. Ooh, I like the red down there, too. Do I have anything for the arms? I think I do. Uh, arms. Hunter coat arms. It might work. Whoa, 78 maximum health, 9% stagger, 9% stagger, melee defense, yeah, health bonus, hopefully I can wear this, come on, oh, I don't think we have any tier 2 left, ah, 8% cold resistance, range defense, cold resistance, cold resistance, fire resistance. Hmm. Well, I've got a lot of the Druffalo hide, so cold resistance it is. Vigorous freezing hunter arms. Okay. Modify armor. Yay, I can wear them! Um... Whoa, wait. Medium arms. Let's see, what is it? Oh! Do it. Do the thing. Okay. Hmm. I think I actually like the other arms better, but this is gonna be good. Like, it's gonna be some really good bonuses. And these don't look bad. Sweet. Alright, so that was good for myself, for myself. Um, yeah. <laughs> no way am I not. My legs just did a weird thing. No, I've been tempted to buy an Xbox One just so I can not wear these pajamas. And then the not wearing pajamas is not worth like $300 or more. <laughs> But still, it's just like, ah, it like totally takes you out of any like romantic scene or any scene. Like being on the Dangnab throne, like, ugh, like I look ridiculous. That's a weird glitch with Barris's quest though. Forgive me, I am incredibly thirsty. Don't I have... I do have, um... The... Ton Actually, put me back in there. <laughs> I apologize. I wanted to go check out my, um... Yeah, my... Um... Potions. And I might look up where to get the core. I think I did once, and I was just like, oh my gosh. Uh... Um, oh, I have tons of embry. I'm good. I don't have any profits, Laurel. Oh, I could do that. I only have 19 elf root, though. And I have, don't have anybody using the regeneration potion, but the proximity heal for that one is awesome. Oh, and that, but that only requires healing, too. So if I got healing, two, then I could get that. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'll, maybe I'll work towards that part. And then I'll start equipping it. Don't matter about that. <laughs> Don't... Oh, I do have the rock armor tonic. Uh, I have one. That's good. Okay. Stun enemies. 
Wow, I do need to complete the rock armor tonic. So I just need rash vine nettle. I know where to get rash. Pretty sure I know you can get rash vine nettle in the um, exalted plains, actually. Oop, wasn't attention. Grenade. Wow. Blood lotus. Wow. Can't do any of that. Blood lotus and dragon thorn. Let's see, though. I can... I think I got this towards the end. So I will put the rock armor tonic in there. Replenish, replenish, replenish. Replenish. Okay. Cool, cool. Nice, nice, nice. I will need to remember to use those properly. Customization. Yeah, I have the Dalish banner. I don't know why. Like last time, I feel like it wasn't as awesome. I totally bought the second free marches bed. I know I did. To Winter Imperium. Oh, the drapes. I'll have to look at the drapes. And then. Oh, it's the heraldry. And then. Oh, I do want to get the different thrones too. That's always fun. Yeah, the Feralden one's cool. Inquisition one is okay, but it's like, no, I like the big, broad ones that you could like drape yourself on, you know what I mean? I've got the Dalish windows going on. Okay. Nice. Alright, did that. Okay, taking care of some household chores. I know some of them get unlocked, like some of the decors and the grenades and the tonics. Maybe we should go treasure hunting. I actually noticed that, um, I think the one time we did a treasure map, we got uh, the tonic, I think. So maybe we'll go treasure hunting. But I still want to go to the Western Approach and all that and all this and woo 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 so much to do um oh should we run around and talk with everyone we, we did talk with josephine if i talk to leliana we're gonna do the next part of the questy thing i think come on what can i do for you inquisitor uh pretty sure i did all this i want to know more about red lyrian i'll tell you what i can err uh, what could the Templars want with it? In Kirkwall, just having the Lyrium Idol made Knight Commander Meredith impossibly strong. Before it turned her into a Lyrium statue, anyway. Yeah. Maybe they thought the power was worth it, or maybe they didn't know the consequences. Oh, okay. I think that's it. Yeah. Okay, hold on. I've got a minute if you need something. Uh, Red Lyrium. I want to know more about Red tell you what I can. Petrify people. I've seen it infect people like a disease and turn them to Lyrian. How can we it We actually that? haven't released... That's well, we kind of have with the Templars. To tell the truth, we don't really know what that shit can do to a person. And I don't want to find out. I think that's a... Yeah. Okay. Come on, just... just. I've got a minute if you need something. Uh... Crypheus. What can you tell me about this? I'm not exactly an expert, but ask away and I'll answer what I can. How did you first inc- A few years back, I was dealing with some trouble from a Carter clan that went rogue. They were sending assassins after the Hawk family. Right. Tracked them to a rune in the Vimarks. It turned out to be a trap. Once you went far, the there whole thing was a prison the Grey Wardens were using to hold what they thought was a powerful darkspawn. I don't think they could. From what we saw in there, Corypheus can control. The Wardens locked him up because there was nothing else they could do. He looks like some... The wardens who imprisoned him thought he... But you heard him ranting. He claims he... It seems crazy, but if he's telling the truth, he's... You and Hawk both... He was dead. The only way for us to escape the prison, Corypheus... We weren't going to just leave the door to his prison mm. open behind us and hope he was dead. All right, I think that's enough about Corypheus. No problem. All right. We got a couple of your talking things out of the way. Are you happy enough with me to talk about anything? Hello. Oh, yay! 
I'm interested in what you told me of yourself and your studies. If you have time, I'd like to hear more. You continue to surprise me. Or what? Wow! Preferably somewhere more interesting than this. Wow! Really? Really? Worked your... Oh, this is... Wow, he must have really not liked me. Because last time, this was the first thing that happened when we got to Skyhold. That's funny. This is gonna be weird. This is gonna be so weird, you guys. I was not ready for this. I thought that this wouldn't happen if you were a dude. Woo! Okay. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Nobody panic. Nobody panic. Man, this takes ages. I forget how many ages this takes. Now I'm just hoping the game audio is still going. I don't know. Maybe that's part of my problem right now is I'm just worried that I've been editing so many of these lately that were that were bad that I now I'm worried. Okay, there it is. <laughs> now I'm just worried they're all going to be bad even though I've tested some of the ones that came later and they're fine. This is going to be weird. Oh, this is gonna be weird. Why here? Avon is familiar. It will always be important to you. We talked about that already. <laughs> oh my gosh. And I walk exactly like the man. The man and Erica, the female, they walk exactly the same. I sat beside you while you slept, studying the anchor. Mm. How long can it take to look at a mark on my hand? A magical mark of unknown origin? Tied to a unique breach in the veil? Yeah, it was you something think. you wanted! I ran every test I could imagine. Searched the Fade, yet found nothing. Cassandra suspected duplicity. She threatened to have me executed as an apostate if I didn't produce results. I would never have agreed to that. You were in no position to argue. I should have said, of course she did. Sorry, habit. You were never going to wake up? How could you? A mortal sent physically through the fade. If you say the same I was thing. Frustrated, frightened. The spirits I'm I gonna punch have you. had been driven away by the breach. Although I wished to help, I had no faith in Cassandra, or she in me. I was ready to flee. The breach threatened the whole world. Where did you plan to go? <laughs> Some place far away, where I might research a way to repair the breach before its effects reached me. Huh? I never and said you it probably. Was a good plan. <laughs> I told a good myself, one. one more attempt. To one. I love that he like flings his hand forward. I tried and failed. No ordinary you magic. Look good and blue me. too, Solace. I watched the rifts Whoa, expand what? and grow. Well, that was weird. Did you hear myself the... to flee. And then the talking for a second. Oh my gosh! <laughs> ah. It seems you hold the key to our salvation. You had sealed it with a gesture. Uh, I am gonna punch you! I felt the whole world change. I am gonna punch you, man. Uh. Hmm. I want to say I'm glad you stayed, but I also want to be like, how, why did this matter to you or something? Like, so much. Let's see. It was that impressive to see me awake? <laughs> you had walked in the Fade. <laughs> I have explored the Fade more than anyone alive. But even I can only visit in dreams. But you, you might have been able to visit me here while awake. What do you mean? Where do you think we were? This you. Isn't real. <laughs> this isn't real. <laughs> That's voice. a matter of debate. Probably best discussed after you wake up. Okay, it's a little bit weird how similar that is to the female romance line, but I know they can't do everything super different, and it's just how you perceive it. But still, I was. I was straddling two worlds there, trying really hard to stay with, uh, 
with Talon, but it was still total major flashbacks there. That was good, though. I didn't realize... I thought maybe, like, the male just wouldn't, like, have much interaction with Solas, but that doesn't make sense why you wouldn't. But I got his approval up enough, I guess, now. I mean, obviously. So that's pretty rad. It'd be interesting to get to know Solas from, uh, like, a guy non-romancing perspective, you know? I mean, the dual nature of, like, being a man and then also not romancing him. But it's a little bit odd that he's, like, take that even as, like, a man or not a romance option that he, like, takes you into your dreams and stuff. A little bit weird. A little bit weird, Solus. I keep hoping that somebody's managed to, like, hack. Why is that? Oh, is that? Because that used to be the circle one, I guess, if I had, if I had gone with the mages. And the, but right now it's the uh, Templar one. You know, be funny is if you sided with the Templars and then made a mage circle tower. I wonder, like, I probably wouldn't do anything because the the modifications of Skyhold do like diddly squat. But even like aesthetically, they do almost nothing. Like almost nothing. The the mage tower was completely out of the way. There was no reason to go there, and it didn't give you any bonuses or anything. So. Are you talking to Varric or Inquisitor? He is an artificer, so Okay. Solis! Sleep well. <laughs> I've never done anything like that before. You regularly uh... talk to people in dreams? No. Consider that one more rule you have effortlessly broken in your rise to power. Oh, okay. I have no idea that the anchor would allow you to dream with such a focus. It is truly remarkable. Okay. I'm reasonably certain we are awake now. Your face is a little and weird. If you wish to discuss anything, I would enjoy talking. Really? Oh. I'd like to hear more about what you saw in your exploration of the Fade. I would be happy to share it with you. Yay! Oh, fun! Okay, uh, yeah, tell me about old ruins. Tell me about the old ruins you explored. I found the ruin of Baron Dua, a lost Tevinter city buried deep beneath the dead and barren wasteland. Volcanic ash had sealed it tight. In one dark moment, every living creature in the city Pompeii. seemed smothered. They were statues in the ashes, like a mold made to recall the lost. We'll talk later. Goodbye. I want to uh, kind of save it, save some, you know. Also, we're running out of time. <laughs> uh, oh, he's sitting down. Sweet. Okay. Uh, maybe if I open up the. Uh, does he really not know about the shards, like, being, like, the Dread Wolf and all? And being the guy who's trying to... This is gonna be trespassery for probably from now on, because I can't really keep it to myself anymore, but... Uh... Is that Dorian? Is that Dorian? Or is that somebody else? Because if that's Dorian, I love you! Don't worry about it! Don't worry about it! <laughs> I just, I don't think it is, but it's like, I'm just talking to Solas, don't worry about it. But, yeah, no, it would be, uh, oh, my face isn't rendering either. Ah! People have brought up the fact that there's the measuring the veil thing, we're not sure what that's about, for what, what benefit that would have for us or for Solas in the coming war or whatever, and then... I'm curious about the shards and why he encouraged looking for them when it leads to a temple that is basically his name, Solasan Temple. But, I don't know. I don't know if I can wait for the Fourth Inquisition to come out. Or, the Fourth Dragon Age. I wonder what they're going to call it. I don't think they've even said anything at this point. But, anyway, thank you guys for joining me. Uh, sorry that one's a little bit long, but we got some, some interesting stuff there at the end. So uh, thanks again. I'll see you in the next one.